Hey you guys, this is Snowy and welcome to another City Skylines experimental video. And in this video, I'm going to see whether elderly people in your city have a negative or a positive effect on your city instead of having more younger people. Okay, what did I do? I created like a model city around here which has all the services required like there is like a, a transport airport there is a harbor there's a cargo harbor there's a normal airport there is like uh, you know everything there are schools uh, university is there there's a metro uh, going underneath it everything is settled even lane mathematics have been applied um, despawn mode is off and the whole thing is pretty simple I have placed like 20 those are these buildings. No, let's escape this. Yeah, game is still in pause mode. Uh, 20 child health care center. Now, the idea is I will put the game on, um, uh, on a time lapse, like for 15 minutes, like that. And after 15 minutes, we will look at the budget, like, okay. Uh, the budget will be like, uh, what will it say, like, okay, the weekly income, we will look at the total budget, like taxes and all that stuff. I won't touch uh, any of the settings, because it's not really needed. The idea is pretty simple. Will the city thrive more or less with elderly people? Now, before even thinking about what it would be the possible outcome, uh, many people sometimes say like, ah, how do I get rid of elderly people in my city? Because many players who play uh, city skylines uh, notice that uh, sometimes a quarter of their population is made up of elderly people. Now, before I even go start this experiment, let's have a thought pattern. Let's have a thought about it, you know. If you have like elderly people in your city, okay, they don't work. So they will not step into their cars, go to their work and cause traffic. That's, you know, that's a fact. Um, like any other people, they still have to pay taxes. Now, I don't know how in city skylines elderly people will get their income. Will it be funded from the city government? I don't know. In real life... You know, in real life, the city is never responsible for the income of elderly people. Yeah, I live in the Netherlands, for example, and in my country, it is the state who is responsible for the income of elderly people, not the city. So how this works in city skylines, I don't know, but it's like an interesting experiment to see like, okay, what will be the differences between having 20 child health care centers and later I will reload the game and I will put like 20 uh, elderly care centers like here and here so okay without further ado I will set this thing to maximum speed oh wait a sec yeah Maximum speed and I will set like a nice free camera mode so we will see everything uh, let's see, well, we can go all the way from here, and we can see all activity, mainly, yeah, what would be a nice viewpoint, you know, that we can see everything, maybe from this angle would be nice, I think this will cover it well. Oh, it also has like uh, here an oil area where generic oil will be pumped up, and there here will be an IT cluster, so, you know, I thought about everything in this city. I even applied lane mathematics. Oh, I already said that. And did some junction restriction, roundabouts, the whole schmuck. Uh, it will be a, it will be great. So, uh, by further ado, uh, I look at my phone and it says now 4 minutes 26. And I will start now.
was it um, the game played for 15 minutes straight uh, let's have a uh, notification of all the information we have um, let's see I have to write things down here so we are at minus 14,000 on income 631 our population is population is 5725 um, the economy shows us that our total income is total income is 18874 in 16 whole ruble cents and the expenses are like uh, I don't know, let's see, elder care is not specifically mentioned over here. Let me see, income, expenses, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, well, this is the amount of people we have, population, uh, and 20, plus 20 happiness, happiness, okay. Well, these are with the, uh, oh yeah, uh, and the most important, I nearly forgot, is the demographics population. Okay, here we have it. We have like a pop. Oh, we already had that. Okay. Uh, employed. Let me say, let me look at that. Employed are like 1869. We have like unemployment. Unemployment, which is pretty high, 24%. So we have like 5% children and we have 12% seniors. Okay. Yeah, without the uh, healthcare uh, option for the seniors, I expect that the seniors amount not to be that high. So uh, I think like with all this information in mind, we are going now to um, stop this game and I'm going to stop this recording and cancel it the last time i tried it the, the game crashed and i don't want to risk that again so i'm going to uh, stop the game now and i will reload it and then we'll um, yeah into the uh, elder care center so we'll be right back hey guys i'm back again and i reloaded the map and the bank saldo is um, bank account saldo is like zero again this time i placed these um, elder care centers and these buildings are uh, a lot bigger than the child health care centers so I placed like six uh, on these uh, both sides of the city and uh, yeah basically we are going to repeat the same uh, thing as before so I'm going to to this spot roughly where I was before I had a view roughly from this angle now let me see why my phone says 1 minute 20 and then I will start 1 and start
Okay, we hit the 15 minute mark here as well and uh, let's see what the old people uh, managed to pull off uh, in our city. They had a lot of elderly care and uh, yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Now, let's have a look at the finances. Um, the finances are like... The interesting fact is what I'm seeing now in the... Um, this amount here is exactly the same. No, it's not exactly the same. Minus 14,316, which is like only a few one hundredths of Somalian rubles less than with the younger population. Okay, the total population population is little. It's 4,765. Yeah. Um, happiness is 64 plus that's a little bit more than with the younger okay now let's look at the um, economic e economy and we see the total income total income is 17,706 um Okay, yes, yeah, so that's uh, from all the taxes, etc. Um, okay, now we go to watch the demographics. I su suspect. Ha, huh, interesting. Interesting. So our unemployment is actually lower. Unemployment is lower. Well, that kind of makes sense because if you have more seniors, then. You have less unemployment but if we look at this chart we see that the children account for eight percent and the seniors account for 12 percent which is the same amount as in the previous test okay uh yeah so we have more children now <laughs> this is actually actually this is uh, a little bit uh, you know contradictory because in the previous test we have we had like 20 child health care centers to you know to uh, stimulate birth and we had no uh, health care for elderly people um, we still have the same amount of uh, seniors but we do have 8% children now in in the previous test we had like 5% children that is like, huh? That's like crazy. Uh, we have more children now without the, without the child health care situation than, than before. Okay. Um, what would be the all in all conclusion, you know, regarding this? Um, to be honest, I don't see that much of a difference. Um, the only thing I see is like, well, there's a little little difference in unemployment and population so um, the in verdict uh, will be like okay let's put this just in like this yeah like this to have something to see at so the in verdict would be like okay we have uh, with the um, child care healthcare centers we have uh, a bigger population in total it was like uh, eight no wait a second it was like 5725 and with all the elder care people we had like only 4765 so that's a different of well at least thousand yeah at least a thousand um, the income of the city did not really change so it does not appear that the amount of taxes uh, do change a lot, whether you have like more seniors or not. But it's it's a little bit hard to say because in both cases we had like 12% seniors. So let's just say that um, yeah, that the um, that the population uh, uh, which was higher in the first one was caused by well actually I don't know it's hard to say why we had more population in the first one and less in the second one because the amount of seniors was the same and in the second run we had more children 
which is odd because it's just the opposite of what you would expect uh, with child healthcare center that there would be more children in, in total. Mm, unemployment uh, was lower with the uh, elder, elderly healthcare, but that was not so much because of the seniors, but probably because there were more children. So automatically you have less less unemployment because there are less people available for work. So all in all, uh, you know what? I think that the effect of elderly people in your city is negligible. Yeah, I think you don't have to worry that much about it. But like I said, in this test, um, it's a pity that the amount of seniors uh, came out this exact the same way. Um, okay, I let the city run on max speed for 15 minutes and I, of course I time-lapsed it to make it shorter. So 15 minutes is like, what, what is 15 minutes? Uh, if you play this game, you know, I have logged in Steam, in my Steam Workshop, over 1500 hours <laughs> on, on this game. So, yeah, if you're busy with a big city, mm, it's hard to say, but I think personally that if you balance things out, if you make sure that there are childcare, healthcare centers, and also senior healthcare centers, that your city will be just fine. So, in conclusion, are elderly people um, unwanted or like uh, unneeded or whatsoever? The answer is no, no. You know, if you want to throw a meteor at your city because you feel you are sick and tired of your elder people, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> it's that's your choice. I mean, you play your own city and everybody has to make that choice for him or herself. Okay, this was uh, Snowy. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little test. And um, yeah, I hope to see you soon again in a new test. And if you have any ideas about... Um, what might uh, be interesting to you then please let me know then we can test this out in city skylines and uh, yeah please feel also free to subscribe to the channel i have uh, lots of other videos about other things as well i have a whole bunch of uh, series that are running right now uh, well one active at least and one is coming up maybe you have seen already something but it's still a little bit in in the process and uh yeah, and hit the notification bell to keep, uh, you know, uh, always, uh, yeah, keep always, um, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my English is lacking, <laughs> up to date, yes, up to date. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, see you, bye-bye.